Good day everybody, how are you all doing today? This is TVG here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I bring you an unboxing videos of the Afterglow Level 5 Plus headsets. The name of the company is not really Afterglow, I was confused about that when I was looking for these headsets. Uh, the name of the company is PDP Performance Design Products. And uh, why I wanted to make this unboxing video is simple. I had these headsets before. I bought them about two months ago at a Best Buy store. Unfortunately, the previous headset that I had, they were damaged. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe my son was a little bit too rough with it. But luckily for me, this company is really good when it comes to customer service. So I got them replaced within two weeks. And since I never made an unboxing video for the previous headset that I had, I decided that I wanted to make an unboxing videos for this one that I got back uh, from them which are obviously brand new you know I was thinking that maybe they would send me kind of like a refurbish uh, type of headset you know usually something that cell phone companies would do but no they actually sent me a brand new set of headsets in this box and I just wanted to talk a little bit about it because I never had a chance again like I said to do an unboxing videos of these headsets in the past and I just recently did a, a, an, an unboxing video of the Star Wars headset from Talk to Pitch, which is a budget headset, a little bit cheaper than this one. And I figure why I don't do the same with this one sounds as well, since actually these are the headsets that I use every single day. The other ones I got from Talk to Pitch were for my son. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's see what we have in this box here. Alright, so as you can see in the box, we have for Exos One, this is specifically for Xbox One, Afterglow Level 5 Plus, Wire Headset, Quad Boost, Haptic Heads Audio Drivers. Now, believe me, because obviously I have already used these headsets, I can tell you that the bass in these babies are very nice, very good, the sound quality is great, I have no complaints about that. I only found one flaw with this headset and I will get into it once I open the box. This is the information that we all want to see back here. Works with Exos One controller with a 3.5 millimeter stereo headset jack. Obviously, I don't think that many people will still be using the old controllers for Xbox One without the headset jack. Additional bass impact haptic drivers to add more boom to your game. That is very true. Again, I have used it, it works, it's very nice. I only complained that I said that it ha I had to use batteries for it, but again, you know, if you don't, if you don't want to use the battery, you want to save the batteries, uh, you just don't use it, you keep them off, but if you want that bass, that boom, you have to turn on the headsets, obviously. Finely tuned 40 millimeters drivers, pivoting noise cancelling microphone, I like the microphone, you, I'll get into it once I open the box, but what I like is that you can actually flip it up or forward and then it's not on your face all the time. Easily accessible controllers for volume adjustment and microphone muting. That's also very true since you can just touch kind of you know kind of touch your ears and you'll have access to the volume control, bass, turn it off on as you need to. Comfortable lightweight design. Well I don't know about that. I think it's about the same weight of any regular or premium headsets really. So let's open this box and let's see what we have inside. Oh, by the way, I don't know if they still have this option, but when I bought them, you get $10 reward card and you can use this $10 to purchase anything that you want to purchase on their website only. That's very good because when I bought these headsets, I actually got them for about, uh, I think it was about $40. Now they cost 60 but I got them on Christmas, so I only pay about $40. And on top of that, I got the $10 reward card. Technically, I paid $30 for it. And since these people, this company, actually, sorry, not people, since this company offers so much, they only don't sell headsets, they sell controllers, mice, keyboards, a bunch of stuff. Everything that they sell is for Xbox One, PS4, Wii, uh, you know, you name it, for Xbox 360, PS3. I already know what I'm going to use the $10 for. They have a, a charge system for Xbox One and PS4 where you could charge both controllers at the same time. I like that. That way when I turn off my Xbox One, I could just put my both controllers to charge and I don't need to you know, leave the Xbox One on whenever I want to charge my controller the same way I'm doing it now with a USB cable. 
So that's that's something that I would be using my ten dollars to work hard for. So back to the headsets. Let's open this box, see the packaging, and let's try to get a better idea of what we're dealing with here. As you can see. If you compare this with my previous video of the Star Wars headset, the packaging is always, you know, the packaging is definitely a little bit better than the Star Wars headsets. <laughs> uh, so here you have your $10 to work hard. Again, I don't know if you still will get this when you buy them nowadays, but when I got it, it was in the box, so that's a plus. I haven't used it, but I'm about to you get this little book with some, you know, tips and troubleshooting guides and whatnot. I don't think I'll ever need this, so back in the box. I always like to keep the box of everything I buy in case I want to give it away to somebody one day. You know, it's very well taken care of and clean. Move this. As I said already, while I was reading the box, or while I was reading what it says on the box, these are wire headsets. Let me put this on the side. Don't want to waste too much time packaging that up. You get energizing, energizing, <laughs> energizer batteries. See the plastic? That's what I mean when I was doing the unboxing video for the Star Wars uh, headsets from Turtle Beach. I was thinking at first that they were used because they had nothing like this. Not a nice plastic like this one covering up the headsets at all, you know, so. Oh man. Well, whether these are new or not, I don't know. But there's definitely a scratch in there. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So, you know, I'm. Was ho I was hoping to make this positive review, up unboxing review, right? I don't know if you guys can see the scratch on that thing on the camera, but definitely there is a big scratch there. Yes, it is a scratch, it won't come off. I don't like that. Oh well, not very happy about that. I was expecting a brand new set of headsets. But what to do? I'm not gonna waste my time complaining about it and trying to return this. So I guess I just continue with the unboxing video and I will keep this as long as they're working. Obviously I haven't turned this on. This are a replacement for the previous one that I had. So let's keep going with the video, I guess. Although I probably won't be as happy now as I'm making the videos. <laughs> uh, all right, so. I don't know if these headsets work with PC and other systems. The Star Wars headsets that I just made the unboxing video of a few days ago, they do work with Xbox One, PC, PS4, they're compatible with everything. These ones are obviously compatible with Xbox One only. What I don't like is that the ear cups here, they don't flip like other headsets do, you know, you can turn around, put them on your, around your neck, on your chest, see, so they're very steady, you don't have much movement with it. It's not really a deal breaker, it's just something to mention, many people might not like that. The other thing is, the ear space here, as you can see, is very narrow, it's not wide enough. So after playing with the headsets for two, three hours, it kind of hurts a little bit, on, on my ears because since my ears don't fit completely in there it will hurt a little bit after a while obviously because you know you have them on your head they're pressing your ears so of course it's gonna hurt a little bit I don't think you will have this issue if you buy the most expensive headsets that they offer but this one is probably like the second one more expensive than this one for $60 and another set for $100 the other one is round, so you probably won't have this issue if you buy that one. That's really the only thing that I don't like about these headsets. 
is that it kind of hurts my ear a little bit because this hole here is not big enough. But on the other hand, this cushion here is very nice. Look, it's very soft, so it kind of helps, you know, to, to reduce that sort of a pain that you might feel after a while. Obviously, if this was cheaper, I, you probably won't be able to stand, you know, the, the, the pain on your ears for, for too long. But because this cushion here is a little bit soft, you kind of could go, you know, easily quite a few hours playing and it wouldn't hurt as much thanks to this. But again, that depends on, you know, whoever is using the headsets, right? For me, it kind of hurts a little bit after three, four hours, but, you know, maybe you'll get used to it. I like that they have this cushion back here. It's very big, very wide. You can even see how thick it is in the camera. I kind of like that because when, since it's resting on your head and you're gonna be playing for two, three, four hours at a time, it will feel very comfortable, you know, around your head because of how thick the cushion is down here. I like the build of it really in general. The plastic that they use is a very good quality. It's very nice. I kind of like this shiny plastic on the side. Obviously, I don't like that they send me one with a scratch on it, you know, but you know, what are you gonna expect? It is a replacement headset. I thought when I saw the box that it would be brand new. They're obviously not brand new because they have scratch there. They might have been returned from another customer with a scratch on it, but after all, I still like the design though. I like the, I like that shiny, uh, you know, I like that shiny design with the matte, it, 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 it goes really nice. You can flip the microphone outwards as you need to, and it won't be sitting on your face whenever you are, you know, uh, talking or chatting with your friends or whatever. If you just wanted to use it as a headset and you're not chatting with anybody, just flip them up and that's it. Real nice. You can actually twist this if you want. See? That way you are not talking directly into the microphone. You know, like sometimes you hear people talking and you know, you can feel like when they're breathing ah, ah, and all that. If you just turn it a little bit to the side, it, it feels like you are not talking directly into the microphone. So the sound quality when other people are hearing you, it would be much, much clearer. All right, so what else can we say about this? Let's just put the batteries on, I guess, and see what it looks like when the bat when it's turned on. It's very easy, right? There you have it. This is what it looks like when the batteries are on. So you get that LED green light. I wish I had it in blue, but blue is only for PS4 because my desktop computer, keyboards and laptop, is, it all had a blue LED light. As you can see, look at my keyboard. And the desktop, everything is blue. And this is green, but I have an Xbox One, so you know, what can I do? But I wish I had it in blue as well. If they did it in green, in green, why not have maybe another color, you know, blue or red, right? But anyways, these are green and that's what it looks like. I really like it though. I like the design. It's very simple, but at the same time, it seems like the quality of the build is really good. And that's what I like. I like things that when you look at them, they will look like the build quality is good. I don't like things that look cheap. Even though if they are cheap, I don't like that it looks cheap. You know, I don't know if you, you get what I mean. All right, so let's see what this looks like on my head, I guess. And let's try them on because I don't think they would work on the PC. Let me see, I have my PC on. I will see if they actually work on the PC. Okay, so obviously they do not work on the PC as I thought they might work. I love how you can just mute here on the side. If you don't want to talk to anybody or if you're making a video for YouTube, for example, and you don't want to hear people talking to you, and then you can just flip this up. 
See, it's very nice. Oh yeah. The sound is as expected, you know. Oh wow, yeah, the sound is as expected. The bass quality, the boom that you feel is very nice. I have no complaint about that. Okay, so I just played a few minutes with the headsets. I just wanted to try them out again because it's been a while since I haven't used them, like two weeks. I'm waiting to get them replaced. And no surprise, again, the same sound quality is really good. The boom that you feel, you know, especially when you're playing games like Black Ops 3, all the grenades, the explosion, things like that, they sound really nice, very loud. So I have no complaint with the sound at all. Small flaw though, a small thing that I really need to say because it kind of bothers me a little bit not to the point where I would not recommend this headset yes I recommend this headset to anybody because for the price you can't get anything better really is the ear space in the ear cups it's very 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 narrow so my ears don't fit completely inside of it I don't know I guess you will have to try the headsets on your own and see if it would be something that bothers you to me it bothers me a little bit, but for the casual gaming, somebody that's going to be playing games for maybe one, two, three hours, it probably won't bother you at all. But for me, because I'm going to be using it for five, six hours a day, then, you know, it's something that I have to deal with. But I already bought them, I like them, they work fine, they're great, the sound quality, it is as advertised. This here quad boost, haptic enhanced audio drivers, it does work. It has a little wheel on the side, here on the back. I don't really know how it works yet. I've never played with it when I had the set sets, uh, when I bought them the first time. But you can actually increase or lower the amount of bass that you can get from the headsets. So I don't know. I don't really know how to play with it. But it sounds good the way it is anyways. So. Anyway, that's all there is for these headsets guys and I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found the information that you were looking for and again, subscribe to the channel, it is a new channel so I need everybody's support and I'll see you in the next video then, take care.